Hello, I'm Deirdre Dwyer and I'm a set and costume designer. I've been invited by Graffiti Theatre Company and Cork City Council to make this video to show you how to make your own Celtic hero costume. It's all going to be part of the virtual festival for Cork St. Patrick's Day this year, 2021. This is the first video of four videos that will show you how to make your own Celtic hero costume. The materials that you'll need to make this project are a large t-shirt, some acrylic paint, some masking tape or sellotape, a sharp scissors, wool in three colours, cardboard, a blanket, a belt, a safety pin and newspaper for protecting the table when you're painting. The costume in total is made up of a t-shirt tunic, a Celtic brooch, a decorative belt buckle, a plaited headband, two leg ties and a blanket cloak. In this video I'll show you what all those elements look like and what, how you put them all together to show the effect and then the other three videos will show you how to make the individual parts. Good luck, I really hope that we get to see some of your creations. I was inspired to make Celtic hero costumes. I was inspired by Queen Maeve and Cú Cullen and Niamh Kinoir and Fionn McCool. And I was thinking about those um, Irish myths and legends and the Celtic heroes that were there. But you can make up your own costume and use some of the elements. So maybe your, your hero would have a headband the same or maybe your hero would wear a blanket cloak the same. So you can take little elements from this and put them together whatever way you wish. And you don't have to make all of it, even if you just make a headband or make some leg ties or... Um, put, a, put a blanket around you, you can be a Celtic hero too. When I'm thinking about costumes, I look at lots of books and look at pictures on the internet to try and get ideas. So these are two different books I've got of costumes through the ages. Um, and it was in this book here that I found some interesting Picts, some, some Iron Age uh, costumes. I also took some inspiration from graphic novels about the Cú Cullen um, and different Celtic heroes. The internet is a really useful tool as well, so I was looking up images of Celtic heroes and looking up the Iron Age um, and found inspiration of cloaks uh, and leg ties and also brooches. So I was looking up about the Tara brooch and also different um, kind of Celtic brooches. So then this is how I start with my plan. I did a rough sketch and then I did a, a, another sketch that I decided I would be colouring in. So that's how I made choices about what colours things might be or what elements that we might use for, for the costume. And you can do that as well if you want. So you can try and plan out what you might put in your costume. And you can maybe plan out what colours they are. You might be inspired by whatever blanket you already have in the house. and um, Whether you have a, a knitted blanket or whether you use a large scarf. And then I decided to colour in my picture and do some painting of it uh, to see how it all would look when it's together. And there we are, the finished sketch. For our costume, here's our plan, here's our design. We need our t-shirt tunic, a brooch for our blanket cloak. We've got a buckle for our belt, which means we also need a belt. We need this blanket here. What? Two leg ties that are long enough to go around our legs and one head tie. And that is what it would take to make a Celtic hero costume. So now I'm going to put it all together. I did a quick change of costume, put on the tunic and some sandals and I'm just going to show you what you do for the leg ties now. So I've got my two leg ties and you start from behind, so you find the middle, start from behind, behind your knee, do a lovely cross at the front, putting them tight, wrap it around the front and tie there. I have enough for a bow on that side and then I'm going to do the other side. So you can wear leggings or jeans or any trousers you want really um, to complete this look. And here's the other side. So then you can see our Celtic warrior legs. I suppose I should put on the headband. Tying that at the back. And then we need our 
belt with our belt buckle. So we put the threaded the belt through the buckle and now I'm going to just put on the belt like normal with the buckle at the back and then spin it around so I have the buckle at the front so I've got my sandals on, my Celtic legs, I've got my tunic, my belt. Last but not least I need to put the buckle and my shawl, blanket, cape. So here's my blanket. So I'm gonna pull it over one shoulder, like that, and tuck it into my belt. So you can tuck it around so it won't go anywhere. And then I'm gonna probably grab a bit over this side and tuck that into my belt as well, keep me nice and warm, in theory, when I'm out being a hero. And then I wanna put my Tara brooch on like that. So I've been Deirdre Dwyer and this video was brought to you by Cork, St. Patrick's Festival and Graffiti Theatre Company. We'd love to see your costume designs so if you do want to share them ask the adult in your life um, to share them on social media with the hashtags Cork Goes Green or hashtag Cork St. Patrick's Festival. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Thank you so much. Bye.